Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA and Shimmer news. Today we take a look at IOTA 2.0 and the many new features. Keep in mind that I'm not making any judgments here. I understand that some community members are pissed off, disappointed and angry about some of the decisions. Nevertheless, everything should be looked at soberly. Not from the perspective of having invested money, but from the perspective of a company, a developer or someone who uses the network. This video is meant to inform and not dictate or support an opinion. Also, stay objective in the comments, even if it's about your money. Neither I nor many others can do anything about the new decision, and we have to live with it as well. So please stay objective and nice. Let's go! IOTA will focus more on maximizing the utility, scalability, and economic activity of the IOTA network and the IOTA token, with Shimmer as an important companion. After the launch of IOTA 2.0, smart contracts will be integrated at Layer 1, L1, to increase demand for mana and strengthen the security of the entire ecosystem. Assembly development will be discontinued while the focus is on IOTA chain. IOTA holders who have gestured for assembly tokens can look forward to an IOTA token airdrop. A new ecosystem fund will be launched to decentralize the governance of IOTA and further promote the ecosystem. IOTA 2.0 will be a consensus and settlement layer capable of securing and tokenizing assets. This will enable smooth and seamless transfers and create new digital ecosystems for Web3 businesses and governments. The leaderless consensus model is one of the best alternatives to existing validator or miner-based networks as it maximizes decentralization and the ability for everyone to participate. The smart contract framework will allow anyone to deploy and anchor WASM or EVM-based L2 networks into the IOTA L1. The upcoming launch of Shimmer EVM on the Shimmer network, IOTA's staging network, will mark the launch of the first smart contract chain in the IOTA ecosystem. This includes support for ZK rollups and other ZK-based technologies in the future. We will look at some examples of L2 networks currently being developed within the ecosystem. Shimmer EVM, GovChains, developed by EBSI, European Blockchain Services Infrastructure, is an example of government-run L2 networks built on IOTA to enable new digital services for governments and citizens, e.g. digital identities, digital product passports, registries, etc. TLIP is a network for commerce and logistics that is currently already running in a large-scale pilot in Kenya and is being expanded in Africa and other countries. Demia is an L2 network for tracking, assurance and decision-making based on verifiable climate data. The IOTA Foundation is planning a major overhaul of tokenomics with IOTA 2.0 and the introduction of MANA. These changes will increase demand for IOTA tokens and underpin them with value and utility. Increasing the value of the IOTA token also directly increases the security of the entire network. The demand for block space is the main driver for the increase in value of IOTA. The introduction of L1 smart contracts is expected to increase the demand for mana, leading to a virtuous cycle. A detailed examination of IOTA 2.0 tokenomics and the role of mana will be published in the upcoming IOTA tokenomics white paper. No date has been given. The IOTA Foundation has decided to stop the rollout of assembly and the assembly token. Instead, Assembly's ideas and concepts will be integrated into IOTA to improve the clarity and efficiency of the IOTA ecosystem. The IOTA Foundation, which has always followed a unique path since its inception in 2015, is now announcing a groundbreaking change in its tokenomics. The IOTA Foundation did not raise large sums of money through an initial coin offering, ICO, in its original token issuance, like almost all other projects. In fact, only a modest 500,000 duds was raised at the time. The rest was distributed to the community and no tokens were held back for founders, team members or the foundation. All the development was made possible thanks to the generous donations from our community. However, over the years, the crypto industry changed. New projects started setting aside larger portions of their token stashes for marketing and promotion, see some meme coins. The IOTA Foundation's limited funds made it difficult to keep up with the competition for growth and adoption. 
Together with the ecosystem, the IOTA Foundation has the chance to take control of its destiny and shape its success. But technology alone will not be enough, we all know that. Only by combining technology with investments in growth and adoption can we reposition IOTA as a leading ecosystem. Ahead of the launch of IOTA 2.0, the IOT Foundation is taking a unique and for some drastic action to adapt the tokenomics of 2015. A temporary token inflation will be introduced that will last over four years. This innovation is made possible by the upcoming IOTA Stardust Hard Fork. After this hard fork, there will be a temporary bi-weekly token release that will last over four years. This token release over four years represents an average temporary inflation of 12% per year. After these four years, the circulating token supply of IOTA will be equal to the new fixed total of 4,600,000 IOTA. The following visualizations explain the token distribution and release schedule. They highlight the entities that will receive IOTA tokens under this release schedule. The existing IOTA holders will retain a total of 2,529,939,588 IOTA tokens. The 1634541 unclaimed IOTA tokens from the Chrysalis Network upgrade will be removed from circulation and released only after valid claims are processed. The Treasury DAO will receive 54,896,144 244 IOTA tokens as officially decided in a governance vote in 2022. The Ecosystem Fund will total 1,020 469,717 IOTA tokens, which will be released incrementally over four years. This fund will be used for research and development, IOTA Foundation, as well as Ecosystem Funding, TA and IOTA DLT Foundation contributions, and an IOTA token airdrop. The Tangle Ecosystem Association, based in Zug, Switzerland, is responsible for ecosystem promotion and support, with a focus on Europe and the US. TEA receives 12% of the total supply, or 552,000 IOTA tokens. The IOTA Foundation, headquartered in Berlin, Germany, is the primary entity responsible for IOTA's research and development and government affairs. It receives 7.075% of all tokens, or 325,469,717 for IOTA tokens. The IOTA DLT Foundation, based in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates, is responsible for promoting and supporting the ecosystem with a focus on the MENA, Africa, and Asia regions. It receives 12% of the total supply, or 552,000 IOTA tokens. Contributors are key partners and engaged members who support IOTA and the ecosystem. They will receive a total of 5% of the total supply, or 230,000 IOTA tokens. There will be an airdrop for IOTA stakers who have gestured for assembly tokens. A total of 3.5%. Of all tokens, or 161,000 IOTA tokens, will be distributed to IOTA stakers. Over four years, the circulating supply will gradually increase, and after four years, the total supply of 4,600,000 to Kulung thousand will be reached. It is important to note that in the future, the community can vote on further reducing the total supply by burning the unclaimed tokens. The IOTA Foundation has created two new entities in its efforts to further decentralize the IOTA ecosystem. These are intended to accelerate the growth and support of IOTA and its ecosystem. The mission of these committees, as stated in their charter, is to support the growth of IOTA and its ecosystem by responsibly managing the new ecosystem token treasury. The IOTA community, through a formal governance process, can propose and vote on specific committees that will manage a portion of the token treasury for specific purposes such as establishing the IOTA gaming ecosystem, IOTA marketing initiatives, driving adoption in Asia, etc. The community will have oversight of the budgets of the token-matched committees. Updates on total ecosystem fund spending will be shared every three months, and a detailed annual transparency report will be published at the end of the year. The community can establish specific committees through a formal governance process. Community members are elected to these committees through a token voting process, and the committees are hosted under the legal umbrella of the entities.
These committees are then directly responsible for allocating a predefined budget and can do so autonomously. The tasks of these committees can cover a wide range of important ecosystem responsibilities, including community building, marketing initiatives, funding public goods, driving adoption in specific markets and industries, infrastructure integration, organizing hackathons and events, and more. With the deployment of smart contracts on the main IOTA network, the official creation of the IOTA Community Treasury DAO is finally underway. This DAO will receive 54,096, 344 million IOTA tokens, as decided by a community-wide governance vote in 2022. A portion of the total supply of assembly tokens has been distributed to IOTA stakers. To date, this amounts to 12,380,515,719,163956 ASMB tokens, or approximately 12% of the total assembly token supply. Since development of the assembly network has ceased, stakers no longer receive assembly tokens. Instead, IOTA holders who have staked for assembly tokens will be eligible for an IOTA token airdrop. After the IOTA Stardust network fork, approximately 161,000 IOTA tokens, or 3.5% of the total supply, will be distributed to IOTA stakers. Each staker can verify the amount of IOTA tokens allocated to them as part of the airdrop by searching their addresses in the token distribution for IOTA Stardust. A new version of Firefly that displays the amount of IOTA tokens assigned to each staker in the airdrop will be released after the IOTA ledger is updated to the IOTA Stardust protocol version. Similarly, the IOTA Explorer will show future token unlocks for all addresses. In addition to an immediate unlock of 10% of the allocated tokens per address, the airdrops of IOTA tokens will occur proportionately over 24 months through bi-weekly automated unlocks. After the Stardust upgrade, the IOTA network will be forked. One network will adjust the token economy to allow for the creation of a new ecosystem fund, while the other network will retain the same token supply as today. Technically, Two networks will be derived from the current Chrysalis IOTA network. IOTA Stardust, a network upgraded from the current Chrysalis protocol to the Stardust version, with a total supply of 4,600,000 IOTA and a circulating supply of 2,685,272,581. Over four years, tokens are unlocked through a temporary token release that is roughly equivalent to 12% of new tokens per year. IOTA Stardust Classic, a network upgraded from the current Chrysalis protocol to the Stardust version with a total supply of 2,779,530, 283 IOTA under the old designation. Note the following, that the IOTA Foundation will only support the IOTA Stardust network. Any entity or group wishing to take over the operation of the IOTA Stardust Classic Network must receive sufficient support from the community to allow the IOTA Foundation to hand over the keys of the distributed validators to them. At the time of IOTA's inception, the creators intended to use metric prefixes for the units. However, it has proven impractical to use a variety of units, especially since in most cases only one of these units is used, MIOTA. Therefore, with the Stardust upgrade, the units of measurement will be changed. Instead of Kilo, Kyoto, Mega, Myota, Geiger, Giota, Terra, Tyota, Peter, Piota, the new smallest unit in Iota will be called Micro or Micros for multiple units. What was previously one Myota now simply becomes one Iota. 1,000,000 Micros equals one Iota. One Giota is therefore now 1,000. Iota. That's it for now with the information from the big update. In the next episode, we will look at the many opinions from the Iota and Shimmer universe. This will be an opinion-heavy episode in contrast to this one. Thanks for watching and supporting. See you next time.